Practice problem on the refraction of light. Laser light is incident from water into glass at an angle of 70 degrees as shown. Describe the behavior of the light ray as it travels from water into glass. Here we notice that the laser light is traveling from one medium, water, into a different medium, glass. We know by definition that when a light ray travels from one medium into another, it's going to refract and change direction, meaning its velocity, speed, and direction will both change. We therefore want to determine the speed of light in glass, as well as the direction it changes when it goes from water into glass, thus the angle of refraction. Here we can show that it's going to be a little bit towards the normal line based on the index refraction of water compared to glass. As we can look these values up, the index refraction for water is about 1.33 and the index refraction for glass is about 1.51. Let's apply the definition of Snell's law and the index of refraction to determine what this angle of refraction will be given the index refraction for each medium, N1 and N2, and the angle of incidence. Snell's law will determine uh, the angle of refraction for us. So here we have characteristics of the incident medium, or water, uh, will balance out with characteristics of the refracted medium, or glass. Let's put in the values we know from the previous page. Here we have the index of refraction for water, or 1.33, times the sine of the angle of incidence, 70 degrees, will equal the index of refraction for glass, 1.51, times the sine of the angle of refraction, which we don't know. Hit pause and see if you can solve for a theta 2, noting that you have to do an inverse sine function. If we solve for a sine of theta 2, we will have that equaling 1.33 times sine of 70, divided by 1.51. If I take sine of 70 and divide these numbers out, this is 0.828. To solve for theta 2, I have to take the inverse sine of 0.828, which gives me about 56 degrees for the angle of refraction. And if I go back to my initial diagram, I can see my angle of incidence and my light ray refracting towards the normal line slightly, an angle of about 56 degrees. We can also notice that there's some partial reflection of that light ray at the same angle of incidence that stays within the water. Now let's try to determine what the velocity of light is in glass. To do that, we will apply the definition of the index of refraction to determine the velocity of light in glass. Recall that the index of refraction, or n, is a ratio of the velocity of light in a vacuum to the velocity of light in the medium, or glass, that we're looking for. Recall that N for glass is 1.55. The speed of light in a vacuum is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And let's solve for V. Doing, doing some cross multiplying and solving for V, I got one, V is 1.94 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Thank you for watching, and see you in class.